Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you stopping in to check out my video. And we are here at Kalami with the Lexus RCF right there on the front row. And uh, unfortunately, I wish I could have uh, picked up a whole bunch of time on with the setup. I picked up a little bit, but the car is just uh, it's really, really good with just the aggressive. But uh, hopefully I made it a little bit better as far as I dropped a few tents, but nothing great. And it made it uh, you know more drivable, more raceable. So let's find out if we did, if I did or not. Going double file. The Mar Aston Martins are right on my tail. So low tire pressure. Stay away from curbs. It's gonna be interesting. Way too deep. Car on the left. Clear on the left. That's the cold tires. I don't know what is going on with this thing. No grip. AI's at 97, and aggression's at 95. My normal settings. I did messing around. I did some um, practice the other day, and I had it at 96 and 96. And it was not good. You wouldn't think that one would make a difference from a 95 aggression to 96, but man. Boy, did they get aggressive. The 
mean, they're sticking. I mean, if you left a teeny crack, even if you didn't, they're trying to, you know, stick their nose in there and, you know, wreck you and everything else. And I tried it a few times, and they're just like, this is, I don't like it. <laughs> Reminded me of the early days of ACC when they were just taking you out all the time. So that's what it felt like. back there. Pretty consistent, if I can be. One thing, weather makes a huge difference with ACC. I tell you what, 
That's one thing I found out just practicing. I mean, especially if it's got, you know, any high speeds to it, temperature, or, um, you know, the wind direction. One time I was at Paul Ricard, you know, all the, all the you know, driving I've been doing there, and I was like, man, alive, I've lost like, like three miles an hour or something down that long straightaway. What the heck? Because everything's the same. And I, you know, went back and looked at the wind, and I had a big old huge headwind. I mean, that'll kill your time right there. So, I mean, weather can make a huge, huge difference, even if the track's still optimal. I mean, you can still lose some time. I changed a few little things on the setup, and I'm gonna explain that when we get into that part. I have an idea why, but you know, it's not back. But I'm just thinking it's something really important. Y'all may you know, already know. I don't know. I don't. I didn't know it, but. It's the only thing that can explain it. Dennis is crawling right down my back here. In case anybody didn't see the setup guide, I mean, I ran my all-time personal best with RCF. And my personal best just on an aggressive setup. Ran like a 142.14 or something like that. Just on the aggressive setup. Just, you know, tires optimized and uh, fuel taken down to 50 liters and stuff like that. Just my normal stuff. This apex. Tires look great. Try not to overdrive it.
on me. Uh, I don't know if I said it or not. The, the AI is at 97 and aggression is 95. Yeah, I think I said it earlier. My first 40, 141 here with the RCF. So 141.95. right now. I love the way this thing sounds. the inside they love jump getting on the inside and hitting you Struggle right through here. Car on the left. See? Be on the Hit left. Me. Went out wide and he just about he tried to drive it to the inside of me. Nervous of that sausage.
tires look great. One more. Right. Excellent job. What a race. See you in the All right. Next. finish. Like I say, sometimes you're the bug and sometimes you're the windshield. Can't hear it. Oops, sorry about that. Can't hear it. That's weird. I love listening to this thing an idle. This thing has a great idle to it. It has a good raft to it. Alrighty. Timetables. I had that one out. Which was a 4270. Um, everything else. Matter of fact, that last, the last lap was a 42.42, <laughs> just almost as quick as my quick lap. So, which, I mean, like I said, I've gone faster than that uh, in qualifying, but let's see, 47, that's exactly the same. Well, that's about a tenth and a half there. So, but, you know, again, at qualifying, you know, I don't care about the tires. I'm pushing as hard as I can. Here, I'm just trying to push as hard as I have to. Um, you know, I don't want to bend the car or tear up, you know, blister a tire or something. So, the main thing is to win. Let's get to the setup that I wanted to talk about. Okay, the front is, uh, left front 25.8, left rear is 26.8, right front is 25.5, and the right rear is 26.6. Uh, the toe is a negative 0.15. Camber is negative 3.6 with a caster of 12.1. I think that's all the same. So the toe and the rear is 0.1, and the camber is negative 2.7. I think that's all the same as it was when I was doing the guide. Electronics, I got three and four. I had it at two, but I put it to three just because, just to be safe. Fuel, that was the same. 50 liters with the number two brake pads. Mechanical, um, this is all the same and your roll bar is seven with the brake bias is 64 i think i put that up a little bit again to be safe so i can always adjust that on the fly the wheel rates 154,000 all the way around all four corners which has something that, you know if you want to play with um probably could drop this one click in the front see if you can get the front to bite some more 
you know, just to try it. Uh, the bump stop rate is 800 on the front with the zero bump stop range. And on the rear, the bump stop rate is 600 with the bump stop range at 8. And he roll bars 1 with the preload at 120, which is the same as the guide. That kind of helped the car come off the corners without oversteering back coming out. Dampers, I didn't change anything. They're all exactly the same as it was uh, in the aggressive, so no sense of going over that. Arrow, this is where I did do some changes, okay? One, see, this just keeps changing here. This arrow variation, now again, I don't know if this is fact or not, but what concerns me is every time I seem like I do something or we switch to another session, this changes here from one to another. And I'm not positive why, but um, I did, this is a 54 ride height in the front, and this is different. I moved this up to 79, and the rear wing, I put less one at 10. It was at 11. So, that means both of these is putting more weight towards the front arrow variation because I took wing out of it and raised the rear. So that should have dropped dramatic. You know, it, when I first started, it was negative 0.5 or 6, and that's actually where the car feels the best. When I ran the low, uh, when I ran the 141, I think I had it at a negative 0.5. Put my microphone down. But, yeah, negative 0.5. So, I'm almost thinking, you know, if you go to another race, another race. Let's say you're racing this another time. I'm just wondering if this is a lot different. Then you go there and run, and then the car reacts a lot different. You're like, what the heck? It doesn't, it doesn't react the same as it did, you know, when I raced at this track the last time. And maybe that's because something with the... You know, the air's changed. Something's changed to make this change. And then instead of the car feeling like it rotates this way, it doesn't. And I'm just wondering, you know, to keep track. I might start keeping track of this once I get it dialed in. To, to write this, keep this on my setup here. So I know from one setup to the other what my point that I'm trying to keep it at. You know, what my aero variation I'm trying to keep this at. Because that right there even from 0.5 to 0.9 or 1.0 is a big difference to where the car won't rotate it doesn't it doesn't feel the same and i'm losing time i mean just like there i ran a 41 a 142.41 but in qualifying i was running a half a second faster so is that because of this is point negative 0.9 instead of negative 0.5 I mean, that's my question. And so uh, from now on, I'm going to start doing that. You know, once I get this dialed in, then I'm going to change this to this, to what I'm, my goal is. So I'm just trying to let you all know about that and uh, to let you aware to where whatever um, arrow variation you get it at, maybe you don't even want to mess with anything and just want to change the arrow variation to get the the car to rotate like you want it to maybe you should write that once you get it where you want it put that down in your setup file write that down whatever it is whatever you know and that way when you go the next time you see what it's supposed to be and then if you go to here and you see it's dramatically different well you need to change something to get it back to that Otherwise, you're going to go out there, and the car's not going to feel the same. It's going to feel completely different. And obviously, that's why I put OP here, and that's for an optimum track. Because obviously, a green track and an optimum track are going to feel completely different because the grip level is not there. So that's why I mark mine OP here at the end, and or GR if it's a green setup, just so I know if that's different, then I understand because it's not going to feel the same. But I'm just... Uh, just wanted to make it aware to everybody out there so maybe that way they can be more consistent and also from one time to another race at the same track they're not like what happened to this car you know because how many times have I said that about a car going man this thing was handling perfect now all of a sudden it doesn't even feel the same 
and that's happened at Suzuka a lot of times, a lot of other places, and I didn't change the setup. All I did is go to another session, and all of a sudden the car's nowhere. So I think it's something that we're going to have to, you know, something to keep track of and uh, to keep the car where it's at instead of getting lost. But I hope that helps, and um, I hope you enjoyed the race in the video. And please, if you could, you know, share uh, anytime to somebody that... Uh, any social media or anybody that uh, would likes ACC or any of this, this, con this content. And I sure appreciate any support. And thank you so much to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I hope you come back and visit again. See ya.